Hey guys, um, my name is Nicole McDuffie and I am here today uh, to help teach you guys kind of how to put together a fun board. Um, I am with the Plate of Dish here in San Angelo. I'm recently back home after four years in uh, Waco with Chip and Joe at Magnolia. So that was a fun experience, but I'm so glad to be home and share what I've learned in my travels here with um, the local community. So I was invited today to come and sort of share with you guys. Um, charcuterie is definitely the big thing these days. Everybody's talking about it. Gathering boards, you may hear it, or just boards. Um, but it is actually around, has been around since about the 15th, 17th century. Dries from France. And it actually means cooked flesh. Ew, I know that sounds gross. Um, in French, Flesh is the name chair, as we spell it, C-H-A-I-R, and cooked is cute, C-U-I-T. So charcuterie comes from the idea of cooked flesh, meaning back in France, they would hang their meats to dry, and really they started out as just a meat board. It was a lot of cured meats, dried meats, hanging meats that you'd get from your local butcher, and then farmers got involved and then the cheese came around and now you see them today in all kinds of different ways. So today, seeing as we're doing this for family and kids, I wanted people to realize it doesn't have to just be meats and cheeses. And like you'll see today, you can, as a chef, somebody who loves to cook, make a lot of this stuff from scratch at home, but these days who has time for that? So don't be afraid to just use store-bought items and get fun and creative with it and stack together. So this one's gonna be a little bit more family um, friendly, more drive towards the kids. So today, um, boards, let's talk about that. There's so many boards out there today. Big, small, round, marble, you name it and they make it. Um, we've got a couple different sizes here, little different, um, ooh, excuse me. Uh, unique little, this one's got honeycomb on it. So if you were gonna do more meats, cheese, or um, even a honey board, jam board, I mean, you can do them just like tastings, all kinds of fun things. They have all kinds of different little decorative pieces and you can theme that for whatever party you wanna do. Um, I tend to like these big wooden boards. Uh, you just have to remember, this will soak in all of the oils from whatever kind of meats and cheeses you do, as well as soaking in juices. Um, so if you wanna keep this in good condition, I always recommend covering it with um, butcher paper. And again, you could even use wrapping paper, anything that you want maybe that's themed. Uh, sometimes I'll do for Valentine's Day, a red or a pink butcher paper, or uh, use just like a cool, fun Valentine's wrapping paper. You just want to make sure you get a thicker one and then it's something you can wad up and it's easy clean throw away. Here today I just brought a few of these um, uh, butcher craft paper squares that we'll just put down again to just kind of cover our board so it doesn't get gross and nasty. Let's dig in. I wanted this to kind of be a realm of all things so a little healthy and then a little junky because who doesn't love sweets? Right, kids? That would be boring if we didn't have any sweets. So, again, with grapes, don't be afraid to cut these up into little chunks. You don't have to leave them all together in one giant clump. You can snip them with a knife, snip them with scissors. And I like to just break up the board a little bit, but play with it, have fun with it. Um, you want to always try to make it not necessarily symmetrical, but just fun so that your eye moves along the board. So we've got big clumps, we've got little clumps. You can just kind of spread it out that way. And whether that's starting with cheeses or if you want to use bowls for anything, I kind of suggest picking a focal of some piece, whatever element that is, place that first, and then we'll build around it. Um, let's see, so I did get some cubed cheese. Again, store-bought, you can buy it and chop it yourself if you want. You can use a cookie cutter. If the kids wanna get in there and have fun, um, you can use it little star shapes or heart shapes for Valentine's or what, even flowers if you're gonna do a Mother's Day. Um, 
But again, you can make it as fun and creative in the kitchen and time consuming, or you can make it as super easy as buying store-bought cube cheese and throwing it on a board. So again, I just kind of like to start with, you know, I'll do about three piles and kind of make some bigger than others. And don't worry about it if it's not perfect, because you can come back as we build and I'll always come in and sort of mess and move things around. So to stay in meats, cheese, again, a little bit of everything. I got pepperoni because kids love pepperoni. And this is a nice, easy little thing that little fingers can grab. So you can get crafty with the way that you spread them out. You can layer them. You can pile them up straight. You know, let the kids get fun and crafty with it. Uh, and again, you could just literally sprinkle the pepperoni and let it do its thing. Let's do a little bit of fun stuff for the kids. So in an attempt to do kind of a healthier, you can do any kind of chips. I mean, any kind of Cheez-Its or goldfish, whatever you love. Today, I went with a little bit of a healthier option and did these veggie sticks. And again, just coming in and kind of placing that little groups. Again, I'm going to do threes just to kind of balance out the board. You can use it all. You can use some. Um, I do suggest, though, if it's your first time and you're not familiar, start small because you can always go back and add in later. Okay, again, for another meat for the kids, I went with just a really nice thin shaved um, honey ham. Uh, I think this is just a good, easy one for the kids. I mean, adults, too. It goes both ways. But when thinking about, okay, well, what will my kids like? What do they want? I mean, even just a sliced uh, lunch meat works, too. All right. Let's do some fun stuff. Right, guys? Let's see. I've got thin Oreos. Again, any cookie you want. Animal crackers. Um... Teddy Grahams, Oreos, chocolate chips. You can make your own cookies. Again, I love to bake cookies and doing all that in the kitchen. So make your own if you want or buy store-bought and make it easy. Um, vanilla wafers are always a really fun one I like. Uh, and again, the animal crackers with the sprinkles, the pink and white ones, the kids always love that. So again, just kind of layer those in there. And sometimes you want to just step back and sort of look and see kind of what's happening with your colors. See, I've got, see, that's even and that kind of bugs me. So I might just make a stack in the back. We've got some marshmallow bars. You can make these at home. Again, another fun thing to do. Or you can simply buy them at the store. Or you can even buy the store-bought ones and then add your own fun sprinkles or do a melted chocolate and drizzle that on. I really can make it your own. Again, we just want to pay it in there and get some height to it. Then let's put in some of our fruit. So I did cucumber. Again, another one that I think kids love. It's an easy one to grab. And don't be afraid to do things in different um, shapes. These I cut up in sticks because you can stand them up tall, again, for height, and you can squeeze them in, you can lay them. Uh, you can also stack them, stick them in there. You can also stack a few in here, lay it like that, or you know, the traditional rounds that kids like too. It just all depends, but again, gives different colors, different heights, different shapes. So oranges, I love again, circular. These are great ways to just kind of add a little bit of color and kids love oranges, or you can cut them into little triangles and stack them this way. Carrots, we're gonna stay in the healthy department something else for the kids and again add some color and let's go back in and maybe add some gummy bears into here let's see what else do I have I think I have a couple other things man we're gonna run out of room strawberries always a good one kids love these they're beautiful they always add some color to the board 
Um, so we'll stack some of these guys here. And then maybe just one or two here for some color. It doesn't have to be a whole big thing. And then you can come in and just sort of stick them in here and there just to add some color. Again, remember you're using it to decorate, but everything's edible. So it's still just as easy for them to come in and pick up a whole strawberry as it is a half and it's less labor and time in the kitchen if you're running out of time. All right, two more things real quick. Um, pretzels, I think the kids love this. Uh, see again how I've run out of room and I kind of don't like the way that that's looking. So I'm gonna pick this up and I'll move these back, pile that up and I'm gonna stick some pretzels here instead. Got a little spot over here for some pretzels that'll help break up that color some. And again, I'm telling you, try a pretzel with a gummy bear. Sweet and salty. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. And then one other last little thing I love to do, again, you can make homemade muffins if you like cinnamon rolls, any kind of thing for brunch boards, or make it easy, store bought, kids love them. And you can just go in, sprinkle these little muffins around. These always make a fun little grab and go as well. And it adds another little sweetness to the board. Just get fun with it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing's perfect in life. But the fact that you're even in the kitchen attempting it is the first part. And just have fun with it. I just always encourage from adults to kids, get in the kitchen, get creative. Play with your food, despite what your parents tell you, except don't throw anything at your sister or your brother. But you guys can check me out, The Plate of Dish. I'm opening soon at Stadium Lanes. I'm gonna be offering all kinds of cooking classes for kids, adults. We're gonna do all kinds of fun things. Um, Pop-up supper clubs will be happening. Um, so stay tuned for those. And it'll also be an event space that people can rent. Um, we'll do parties. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some food styling and photography and all kinds of other fun things. So I encourage you to get in the kitchen, play with your food, and just create something fun that encourages you to get together with your families and to gather with friends. COVID has been such a crazy um, world for us all and has kept us distant. So I hope that this encourages you guys to get back in the kitchen, gather again, and have some fellowship with each other. Thanks so much for having me.